This is CBC News. The family of Joseph Izu, a former football player with Shooting Star Sports Club 3SC, who was murdered by military personnel, are still seeking justice. One year after the incident occurred, the family of Lady Izu are yet to come to terms with uh, their loss, saying so many questions remain unanswered. Correspondent Uche Okuru has details. All we are Justice. Precisely on October the 16th, 2016, the life of this promising football player Joseph Izu was cut short. He was killed by bullets fired by operatives of the Joint Military Task Force in Okaki community in Ahoda West local government area of River State. Before his untimely death, Joseph was the central midfielder of 3SC of Ibadan. One year after the incident, his family members still describe as false allegation by the Nigerian army that the victim was killed near a cultist shrine. They also lament that nothing has been done to bring the killers to book. The mumbo jumbo game the army is playing is aggravating the matter. Be it as it may, there are some questions begging for answer from the army. They include one. Where did they find my son? Inside or outside the shrine and shot him? Two, was he armed? Three, why was he shot twice when he was already demobilized with the first bullet? Relatives also lashed out at 3SC of Ibadan for failing to fulfill its financial obligation to late Joseph, despite several appeals made to management of the football club. In the area of 3SC, I have done uh, through the family a letter to the GM, to the uh, uh, chairman of the club, to the state commissioner for sports, and they claim that a panel was set to investigate 3SC's withdrawal, uh, withholding of his entitlement, but up to date as we speak, even as we notify them of today's press conference being organized by the family to mark one year of his remembrance, they still did not acknowledge the, the, the text message. Described as the breadwinner of his entire family, including a wife and one daughter, life has not been easy for those whom the late Joseph left behind. My father is a very caring father, a very lovely father that is ready to help you anytime you are in need. I miss him very much. Wherever he is, may he be well with him and his spirit may he so rest in perfect peace. No matter how long it takes, this family says it will not relent in the pursuit of justice for the killing of late Joseph by military personnel. To them, the victim was neither a cultist nor a criminal, but rather was a promising footballer whose life was taken at his prime. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.